My name is Patrick Kanuka. I'm an ex-professional footballer and chairman of Wolven Cross FC, and this is my fan Q&A. Regarding ground share, we're currently talking to Wormley Rovers and uh, Redbridge FC. We are starting pre-season in June, the start, uh, the start of June. So yeah, I can't wait. Well, um, what I'm trying to promote is sort of like um, everything to do with the community. So it will be a community based club. Well, the, the style of football that I will try and promote is high press, um, very direct in passing, football on the ground and uh, very entertaining. Well, I'm a football man and um, I like to do certain things my way. I've always wanted to have uh, my own team, have my own um, imprint into something and I think this is a huge opportunity for myself. Uh, Wolven Cross was a good location for me because um, I live in Wolven Cross and I interact with people in Wolven Cross and I also feel that Wolven Cross needs something good to talk about, to chant about, to tell their mates about in, in Chesham and in Wolven Abbey and be proud about. Where I'm looking to take Wolven Cross FC? Wow, that's a good question. Um, I'm looking to go up the leagues. Um, how high? Who knows? But well, I'm looking to have a crack at this. Well, the way I bring out the best in a player is it's just confidence. Um, we're going to have a relatively young side, so I think it's just playing them having uh, confidence in playing them, giving them that sort of like um, encouragement and good man management and um, hopefully they'll blossom. To be honest, that rivalry, I cannot wait because um, there's, um, there's a selective um, amount of clubs near in and around us so we have plenty of rivalries and if you do join us and come and support us you'll have a lot of uh, derbies to uh, watch um, I, I, I got scouted when I was 13 in a very bizarre sort of way um, I wasn't really a footballer, I used to play basketball. Cut a long story show, short, um, my PE teacher um, wanted me to um, play for the school team because I was really tall. He taught me how to play football uh, on my lunch break. And then on my fourth lesson, I missed it because I had to play this game. Played well, I think. And the uh, scout came out of the bush and said whether I wanted to play for Millwall. The rest is history. I retired because I felt that I've had a good career, I've had a good long career and there were a lot of things that I wanted to do and explore and um, 
I just never felt that I had the sort of hunger to play anymore. I felt that um, my journey now is to give back my knowledge. The highlight of my career, there's been loads of highlights of my of, of uh, this long career that I've had. I've been different countries, just to say, just to pick one highlight of that career, I think that will do um, a lot of different parts of my career in justice. So uh, I'll leave that for another time. What made me stick out football? Uh, I'll tell you a moment in my life where it was really tough. Um, it was 2014. Um, I, I had been diagnosed with bone cancer and um, it was in Thailand at that period I was on my own for so when I had to recover I had um, I had to go to a temple with um, the monks and I was with them for a whole year I was practicing monkhood and that really really helped me with regarding um, life and um, how I conduct myself in society. Oof, that's a that's a good question. Um, I've had I've had good experience in um, all the countries I've played in, but what sticks in mind it has to be Thailand because overall Thailand had everything really. It had life. Uh, outside football and on the field oh, I was really uh, taken back by the fans and how they sort of win or lose they just kept smiling so <laughs> I was really taken back by that so um, yeah Thailand was a, a very enjoyable experience Not so much, not so much. Um, however, I do like to walk around the night before, I do like to walk around in my boots and sleep in my boots. So yeah, you might think that's a bit weird, but it did work. Well, my biggest career break is um, He's currently Leighton Orient assistant manager at the minute, uh, Joe Gallen. Um, he gave, he sort of took me from Leighton Orient and straight into QPR and he believed in me when he took me from basically nothing and uh, made me to made me into big strong centre half that I was during my career. So um, he really had a massive impact in my career. I'll say big, strong, aggressive, wins his headers, also can play a little bit, but very, very, very vocal. Thank you for your questions. Um, this is the end of my fan Q&A. Uh, really enjoyed it. Um, the next Q&A will be with Lomana Trezor Loa Loa and we'll be carrying on this social Sunday every Sunday. Thank you very much.